Outside the precincts of professional conservatism, author and filmmaker Dinesh D'Souza's influence has gone largely unnoticed. But of the top 10 grossing documentaries of all time, the number 5 spot is held by D'Souza, with an anti-Obama movie that brought in $33 million. And now D'Souza is back with Death of a Nation, a two-hour attack on Democrats in celebration of Donald Trump. It's now up to us to save America a second time. Well, it's my movie. No, they know me. D'Souza was once considered the thinking man's conservative, but he determined that intellectuals couldn't affect political change. So the once marginal right-wing egghead remade himself into a brawling, even more right-wing activist. But what do you say to those people that say, you know, the Dinesh that I knew was a smart guy who was, uh, you know, made fantastic intellectual points and wrote great books, and he's become this troll? They don't think you mean it, you know. Yeah, they don't think I mean it, and they think I'm doing it just to kowtow to the crowd, but I'm not. I mean, that's why we have the analogy of Trump and Lincoln on the poster, because I'm actually saying that we are not in a civil war moment, but in a pre-civil war moment. And he sees his own experience in that moment. In 2014, he was convicted of making an illegal campaign contribution and sentenced to five years of probation. In May, President Trump pardoned him. But D'Souza thinks his conviction stands as evidence that fascism has taken over the Democratic Party. I saw this with my own eyes, the gangsterization of the U.S. government and of American politics. This is about as close as you can get to institutional fascism. You say in the film, the Nazi party platform could have been written by Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders. It you know have. that's not true. No, that is true. What I'm saying is, since the 1940s, Americans, educated Americans, have been taught as a matter of course that Nazism is on the right. I am now challenging the notion that fascism and Nazism are right wing. So it's fair for me to say, let's look at the Nazi platform. State-sponsored healthcare, state-sponsored education, state-sponsored banking, confiscation of profits, redistribution, redistribution of incomes. And then any reasonable person looking at that goes, well, that doesn't sound very right wing to me. But you've gone way too far in the sense that you go and you say, look, these are not right-wing principles in the Nazi party platform, right? That's right. Okay. How does one leap from that to Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren I'll could be why. the authors of the Nazi party platform? First of all, who is who brought, who plays the Nazi card in this debate? Did I start playing the Nazi card? No. My goal in this book and movie is to diffuse the race card and the and the fascism card. Why? But you're dealing it the other way. I'm dealing it the other way in order to trumpet, if I may use th that expression. Let's look at the real fascists and see if they resemble you or if they resemble me. Enough big lies. It is time to tell the truth. The progressive Democrats are the true racists. They are the true fascists. Death of a Nation opened last weekend on a thousand screens nationwide. It's already been savaged by critics and currently has a 0% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. What you're seeing is actually a cultural phenomenon that is tapping into a cultural divide, and our movies are that. It, it's not a fair assessment of the movie. D'Souza's influence within the Trump wing of the GOP was on display at Death of a Nation's DC premiere, an event hosted by the president's son, Donald Trump Jr. Give me a sense of, of what you, sort of your relationship with Nation with his work. I think it's an important message because there's a lot of false narrative out there. Just look at the things that are going on, whether you talk about the Nazi platform in the early 1930s and you talk about what the left's platform is today. They're remarkably similar. So Dinesh has told me in the past couple of days that there's a straight line from fascism, the Nazi party, to the, today's Democratic Party. Is that something that you I think you'll see that in the movie. Yeah. Uh, I, I think people can formulate their own opinions, but they should do what that based you? on facts. What do you think? I think it's very compelling. Very compelling? Yeah. I think the situation in America has darkened. Our politics has become more uncivil, not just uncivil, more savage. Do you dislike that? I dislike that. I dislike it. Do you it. think the president that you're defending so vociferously is responsible in some way for that? No. I think he's the product. No. 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 He didn't create that. It created him. I would be happy, happy to disarm the moment I see the other side disarming. I'll be happy to show goodwill the moment I see an ounce of goodwill coming from the other side. The militancy that's coming from me at this point is, is driven by a militant situation. 